Hey, whiteboard. I was just talking with a friend, and well, can I ask you something? This global energy crisis, what's the deal with it? I mean, what's the deal? Why are we in an energy crisis? Yeah, why? Uh, all right, well, will you tell me anyways? Of course, they are the cheapest, most efficient means of generating energy. What are you laughing at? Yeah, I said that those resources provide the cheapest, most efficient means of generating energy. Is this not true? All right, well then, what is the alternative? I'll be open-minded. Please, tell me, what is the alternative to coal and oil? <laughs> Free energy. Seriously? <laughs> Let me guess. Perpetual motion? There is no such thing as free energy. Okay, then what is free energy? Will you stop saying that? <laughs> what the heck? If you say something that isn't true, how am I supposed to believe it? You just said that the solution to the global energy crisis is free energy. How am I supposed to believe that? Because there is no such thing as getting something for nothing. Nothing in this world is free, so therefore, there is no such thing as free energy. What's awkward? Sure, please, enlighten me. What is free energy? Yes, once more, I said that they are the cheapest, most efficient means of generating energy. Yes, generating. Say that again? Okay, let me see if I'm following you. You're saying in order to get energy we can use, like mechanical or electrical energy, we first have to have an energy source like oil or coal, and then we build a something, a device, that is able to transform or turn that energy source into usable energy. No, it is not. Because we have to go and find this source of energy, take it out of the earth, ship it somewhere, process it, ship it again, it's actually quite an expensive process. Okay, I understand that. So what is free energy? Okay. Yes. Nothing would happen. It would not start. Because in order to do anything, a car requires gas. If it does not have gas, it'll just sit there. Okay, I, I see what you're getting at. You're trying to show me the difference between my car and the energy that powers my car. <laughs> because my car is simply a device that turns the energy within oil into mechanical energy, i.e. me driving around, right? Wait, you're saying that there is an energy source that we don't have to go and find? An energy source that is abundant and is just kind of hanging around, waiting to be used? Of course. You have got to be kidding me. You are telling me that we can build a device that is able to turn any one of these free energy sources into free, clean, usable energy? Okay, well then, why are power plants still being constructed? Why are we allowing deep sea oil drilling? Why are we polluting? Why are people starving and dying of thirst all over this planet? If free energy was a real thing, then we could grow healthy, organic food locally all over the world and everyone could have fresh water. And if free energy was a real thing, then why the hell have I been misled into believing that coal and oil are the best way? Of course.
why is energy so important? That's a good point. Every living system requires energy. Well, sheesh. Our societal system, as I just discovered, 